Left hand down, left hand down! Getting a bit too close to the 1980s. What am I going to do? I don't, you know. Well, someone did. Hold on. That's a phone! It's got a mobile! It's a twig! It's not mine. Hello? Crackers! How those cyber evenings must fly! <laughs> Hello, the top. Crackers! Don't! Why not? Because if you answer it, something will happen. What? A thing. It's just a phone, Clara. Nothing happens when you answer the phone. Crackers! Doctor! It's time for... The Twelfth Doctor's Regeneration Review. Ding dong, okay, brilliant. I may be a bit rusty in some areas, but I will glance at a manual. Come on, Doctors! Down here now! <laughs> the frame been broken. Vengeance. Uh. It's a little detour. It's just it's a job. I've, I've got to do it for someone. Come on. This is I, Dr. Filth. Yes, I'm here to educate you on some literature purposes of today, with me shaking some quality wine on this channel. This is my special, forget the little swine geeks back, and follow me on some cracking hunting tribes. As you can see here, I killed the first one, damn geeks back, with a twig. One of my finest. The second one I got off a of bamboo this year. Incredible. Filthy, 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 filthy. Oh yes, let me sit down for my old stormtrooper wounds. Now, as you're sitting here with me, we are going to learn how to play some cracking with some wine and some great material with me. Perfection. Just look at this golden perfection here, as you can see. Well, yes. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about, let me just put my expensive wine down. Lovely. Now, the first rule about some cracking material is you need to get. Who's not like being down? Oh no. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Right. Guess what I've done to your trip. What? Oh my god! No, my babies! My babies! My babies! My babies! What have you done to my babies? You swine! Why did you do that to my babies? No, my tribe! No! 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 Crackers! Huh. Hello, geeks! 
I'm back again, again, again. Where have I been? I tell you where I've been. Crackers. I've been at university for a little bit, doing certain types of animation. Now I'm swapping over to film post-production. So I've switched, but I've got a little bit of time off and do some more lovely reviews for you cracking geeks. That's what we're doing. And also, I'm doing so many episodes. We're getting about four or five episodes, some unboxings, some reviews, and what's never been done before on Geekspec. Are you waiting? I'm also putting on a lip sync video. I thought that's a different tip. I'm not singing, I'm lip syncing it. It's a proper music video that we've done at university. I'm squinting. The sun is quite sunny, so I'm doing this. I hope you like my squint. But that's what we're doing so far. So we've got a couple of unboxings, a couple of re reviews. I'm not telling you, you have to wait and see. <laughs> and we've also got a lip sync. And the episodes on every fortnight as I did before on the previous times I've done it, so it's standard normal. Every two weeks, some new video comes out for you. Crackers! Now for today, we're gonna to do the Doctor Who Peter Capaldi's Christmas special, twice upon a time, written by Stephen Moffat. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Crackers! Let's do it! <laughs> Yes, my geeks, today we're going to talk about Doctor Who, the Christmas special, twice upon a time. And also Peter Capaldi's last ever time being the Doctor in the TARDIS and regenerating into Jodie Whittaker, who is now the first female Doctor. And we're also going to talk about some of the Easter eggs in this Christmas special. So, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the original Doctor Who footage from many moons ago for most people and I like how they've used the old footage and used the modern day footage to blend it in and I like how they did a little easter egg saying 709 episodes ago but we don't know if that is the true number because some of the Doctor Who original episodes have gone missing so we just think that's a rough idea but I like how how they come up with the story between the both Doctors are not ready for regeneration just yet. And I like how the first and twelfth Doctor are putting it off, they're trying to find the regeneration. They're trying to say, you know, I don't want to go just yet. And then the twelfth Doctor says, don't worry, you haven't really told anyone yet. Because if you think about it, they're the same person, so they haven't really told anyone else. So I think that was a nice little bit they put in there to, you know, because they're both struggling for change, because that's always been the Doctor's greatest fear, is change. The nice thing what the, the, the Doctor faces this time round is the, they're not really villains, the, they're called the Testimony, who when people die they get transferred into a glass body and all the memories are put into there, and it's like a bit of a hologram, so you kind of see dead person's body again so they're walking around but it's not actually them but it is what what I like about it is the doctor always gets confused because he thinks well you're not really Bill Potts well yes I am my body's gone but my mind is still here so it is technically Bill Potts I like how they brought David Bradley back as the first doctor he always plays an amazing first William Hartnell Doctor. And they've also upped the gags, they've made it more jolly, not as like a very sad kind of David Tennant regeneration feel. They've made it more jokey, of a lot more gags, so all the family can watch it without being too upset with this uh, episode. And also, if David Bradley keeps playing the first Doctor in so many specials, he would have played it more than William Hartnell. Well, don't know if they are going to keep having him every year, but we'll just have to wait and see. 
it's up to them because it's also a new team who's coming in to take over Doctor Who. So we'll have to wait and see what happens next if he will return to Doctor Who. Stephen Moffat is also leaving Doctor Who. He is giving up writing Doctor Who. He's passed on to another one now. He's also, because it's also his last ever episode writing Doctor Who, he has also put a lot of old characters into this one, like Rusty from Peter Capaldi's Very First Season from Episode 2, going inside Rusty's, inside the Dalek, and rooting in his brain to find out what happened. So they've brought Rusty back, and they've also put a lot of through Stephen Moffat's career since from Matt Smith started, so they put a lot of that in as well. Well, it is his last ever one, so he's going to put loads of phrases in as, as he can because it's his last episode. They've also took the 50th anniversary idea to, uh, for the first and 12th Doctor when they both meet, so who's better? I've got the Benny, the biggie, the biggie, the biggie, the biggie, the biggie, the biggie, the big Sonic screwdriver than you. I wear the best dress coat better than you. No. I've got the better hairstyle than you. Yes, that's what we went for. I like that. Let's go with that. I like your shoes. Yes. I don't, because I'm number 10, Doc. I like your dicky bow, but not really. Why are you wearing a dicky bow? So they went like that for. So they went that 50th anniversary route. So I thought that was a nice little uh, follow back from the last one. So they've took some ideas from the 50th and put them in the Christmas. I thought that was a nice little touch. Very nice. It's just like that time when we both had an argument between me and Dr. Phil for who had the better weapon. Well,. Wow. We soon who know who won that fight, didn't we? <laughs> it's the end. Ready for a showdown with my magic combat fighting spec. Ooh, what is that? Wait, no, no. What, what is that? No. Ooh. That's good marketing. That's good marketing, isn't it? <laughs> what? I also like how the both doctors moan about, you know, his TARDIS looks fatter, his TARDIS looks smaller. I like how the how they've written that in, and, you know, because the doctors, you know, don't like change as much. But I also like because also the TARDIS regenerates with the doctor at the same time, so you know it changes over the course of the years of each doctor. So I like how they've put that in, and they still moan about it. There's also a nice little bit from when Jodie Whittaker regenerates into the 13th Doctor. Like when she says, brilliant. She's also saying brilliant because she's also changed, but she's also saying brilliant because the show was brilliant, how the how it's all come together. So the 13th Doctor is kind of going, brilliant. I like how the 12th has actually come to terms with himself and fought off the creatures in his last ever battle. So that's what it also means. So they've also put that in as a little Easter egg. So if you go back and watch it again from the beginning and from the end, then you know what she's on about also. And the show must go on as well, because many Doctor Who fans, or Whovians, as we call ourselves today, want the show to continue on. And I think it's going to be better and fresh, because one, we've also got a female Doctor for the first time, so it's going to be a different perspective compared to some other people's ideas and thoughts, but I think it's going to be really good. Jodie Whittaker is going to make a good impression and a spin-off as the 13th. So we'll have to wait back in the end of spring, I think it starts. Near to winter, they're starting. And also, they're only doing 10 episodes, not 13. So they're doing it like the original. And they're also doing like so many episodes of like part one and part two so the story is also going to be extended so it's not going to be like they're going to defeat the monster in the first episode then do another one sometimes it's going to take about a couple of episodes to defeat the monster so they're kind of going that route in this Doctor Who team so we'll have to wait by winter let's crack on 
<laughs> I also like how they brought Clara Oswald back uh, for Peter Capaldi's last ever time being the Doctor, just like they did for the 11th Doctor with Amy Pond. So I thought that was a nice little uh, back reference when Matt Smith regenerated. So I thought that was a nice little uh, thing from the past, what they brought back. I thought that was quite nice. And another person who came back for one more was Mark Gatiss, who has made many appearances in Doctor Who, starting from David Tennant to the 11th and from the 12th. And he's also been a writer for Doctor Who as well. And he also plays Lethbridge Stewart, the father of Lethbridge Stewart. Because Doctor has always been with the Lethbridge Stewart since the, the second Doctor up to the, up to the 11th who's Lethbridge Stewart's daughter, Kate Stewart. So they've brought that back full circle around. So I thought that was a nice little thing they brought back. And the last things I'm going to talk about now is is when the 12th Doctor is talking to the future Doctor before he regenerates into Jodie Whittaker. So he's giving, giving her a few rules before he regenerates. Never be cruel or cowardly. That came from the 50th anniversary, where they have their own moment and their own morals and where they stand for. And there's a speech where Peter Capaldi did an interview talking that only children can only hear the Doctor's name from uh, an interview. He talked in real life. It was a real life thing, it wasn't scripted or anything, it was properly done in an interview. I thought it was very nice, so only children can only hear the Doctor's name when their heart and soul is in the right place. And I thought that was really nice, what we did <coughs> for Peter Capaldi, and he had permission to put that in as a final goodbye thing. Also, I didn't really talk about Bill too much in the episode, because how they've put her in the script was like, hmm, well, they've messed it up a little bit, because in the last episode, she came out of the um, Cyberman and came as a water creature. With a, with a girlfriend and travelled around the stars but then how they brought her back she was one of them glass figures so I think what they've done there is they just brought her back for one more episode but they didn't find a way how they could fit it in so they just thought I'll tell you what we'll just put her in as a glass thing and that's how we solved it I thought they could have done a better ending for Bill and how they ended it so but I hope you did like this review, my geeks, of some of the Doctor Who Christmas special and some of the Easter eggs they've done from the past. So I hope you did like that. And before I go, do you want to know who the Doctor Who's name is? I found out who the Doctor's real name is. I can tell you right now. Do you want me to tell you? Well, the Doctor's name is... You never explained. Who exactly is he? Doctor Who. Doctor Mysterio. I hope you did like that review, my geeks, of the Doctor Who. And his name is Dr. Mysterio. See, told you. Marveler everywhere. Are they? Crackers. I hope you did like that review. A few Easter eggs and, how, and what Stephen Moffat did and what's coming next for Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. But like I said before, the show's on every two weeks. So, because I'm doing the other th uh, episodes as we speak and, you know, get them out for you as soon as possible. It gives me a chance to edit. Crackers! And you've also got a lip sync, what's never been done on this show before. Something fresh, something new. Hope you like it, just for you. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Crackers. So, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time, my cracking little geeks. Ooh, crackers! Crackers! I hope you did really like this review, my geeks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave any opinions. What do you think about the brand new 13th, first, 
female doctor, Jodie Whittaker. <laughs> Tell me how you feel. Is she going to be a good doctor or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Crackers, and I'll see you next time, my cracking little geeks. Dabba dabbers. Huh.